Ariola joins us live now with what's changing at the school and how you can donate to the Books for Beverly Drive. We are live here at the Books for Beverland uh, Book Drive, where we have people dropping off books. We, we've had a steady flow right now. The count is up to more than 2,000 book donations this evening. Talking a little bit about the students who returned to Amy Beverland Elementary School this morning, where there is now a new interim principal, new safety procedures, and a new support system on hand to help them cope with the loss of Susan Jordan. Jordan was the principal of Amy Beverland for 20 two years and today small steps were taken to help students continue the educational journey that they started with her. More than a dozen therapy dog teams from Love on a Leash were at the school today to comfort grieving children. There were also counselors on hand and more adults watching over kids as they arrived and left school. RTV6 spoke to a volunteer who said she just had to be there for those kids today. It was quite an experience. Um, there w was a lot going on. There were lots of um, Greek counselors there, and um, so the hallways were full of adults and children. There were some that were individually with, with counselors crying and others that were in groups, and so we felt like we did a good, good deed. And RTV6 is hosting the Books for Beverland book drive until 6 o'clock tonight. We have a full screen with information for you on there. You can donate and drop off a book at 6501 Sunnyside Road. We are here at the Lawrence Community and Education Center, and we would love to see you guys come out to help support these kids as they try and continue to live out the legacy that Susan Jordan started for them. Reporting live in Lawrence, Liz Adiola, RTV6. Liz, thank you. Tonight,